images that you are seeing currently are not real images look at these images these look so close to reality and this is one of the image where 25 year old me standing beside 50 year old me i showed these images to my family members and friends and they failed to differentiate the realistic me versus ai me these look so close to reality right again these were not generated using any random face swapping tools and all i have created my own ai model using flux lora with the help of flux lora i am able to create all these real looking images in this video i will show you how you can create your own image generation model so that you can create unlimited ai images something like this Hi, I'm Ashwin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will introduce a new AI based image training model called Flux Lora. I will share how you can train your own images and create your own AI image model. Once you generate your model, you can create unlimited images, something like this. If you can see, it is impossible to find the difference between original and duplicate. Once you have trained your AI model using Flux Lora, you can create something like this, like the images that I'm showing now and you can download them and you can create unlimited such images easily and instantly. I will show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can do that from scratch. I will show you a step-by-step -step process on how you can create your own Flux Lora model. By doing this, you will have your own model, uh, be it yourself or maybe your favorite celebrity, or favorite cricketer, whoever it might be, you can create your own lora flex model by doing this you can create unlimited ai images that look exactly like you it's impossible to find the difference between original and uh, the ai generated one once you create this model all i have to do is like like open this like uh, i need to try and flex lora plus it is an open source model in order to try in this model you need to give some images of yourself uh, it might be a gif file or you can add images uh, one by one as well make sure your images don't have any subjects apart from you. Like make it a single picture in almost all the photos. I have already created a GIF file. Uh, you can say like I have created all these images and converted it as in GIF file. So I'm just selecting that GIF file. You need to give a trigger word which is unique. I mean people anywhere uh, using this Flex or Lora Flex model. If they can use this word, they can get your images like I'm just giving Ashwant as the trigger name at this moment you can have all these things as well I'm going up to or oh, maybe thousand would be fine so this is it is also an important the number of training steps so thousand is the default but you can also uh, go more than that as well so I'm just selecting thousand drawing control like um, just leave it as it is now if i can click start it will uh, take around five to six minutes to create the model see it is in progress it will uh, take around five minutes uh, if you can see it is getting trained so actually i have used thousand steps here uh, if you can see the steps are thousand so it's uh, taking some time you can train up to 200 steps for free because you will get one credit when you sign up on uh, this flex lora under fall.ai but i have selected thousand steps so that i want the perfect one like i can create anything that i want so that's my intention so that's the reason why i have selected thousand and it will take some time obviously because training an ai model is uh, not an easy cake walk now the training has been completed it took around 20 minutes because i have uh, used a thousand steps if you have selected 200 steps like it would have been around four or five minutes now it's done now we have to see how it will perform see now i have selected run inference here you can check how your model will perform let's suppose uh, i will write something like photo or i can say linkedin profile picture 
of Ashwanth in a dark background. Let's see how uh, it will provide the output. One thing that I have heard about Flux LoRa is like it is more accurate and it's more realistic than Mid Journey. If you can see, it's almost perfect. Even I can't say whether it's original or not. Let's try with uh, some different images. Ashwant as a Iron Man. As an Iron Man. Now let's see how it will show me in Iron Man avatar. Then yeah, it's it's good, right? It's good. I mean, the face is very close to I mean how I generally look like now let's try some uh, realistic images Ashwant in a uh, vegetable market let's see how this will look like see once you train your model with a specific name like everyone can use this now it look accurate again like it's it's close to me now let's try some other thing like Ashwant in a beach relaxing with the drink in his hand maybe you can still try with uh, some more meaningful prompts like you will get more good images it's good as well it's I mean like more realistic when you compare uh, the other models let's try with some other some other things like Ashwant as an cricketer wearing helmet and ready to face the ball on also, also asking front view front view of Ashwant as a cricketer so I want the straight image I didn't mention like Indian cricketer or any other cricketer I just mentioned cricketer let's see how this will look like hmm it's almost like an Australian jersey but it's it's so cool right let's alter this by adding an Indian cricketer maybe this time I might get an Indian jersey see once you train your model you can generate unlimited images like this it's it's good now because it has some Indian resemblance and look at that face like it's almost me like it it doesn't look like it's AI generated right it's it's very cool or now let's try some other images like Yashwan Das Superman let's see how this will look like this time and to generate output like it's not even taking more time wow this is so close right this is so close to how I look in general so if this I mean technology grows or AI in general grows it's really difficult to find the difference between real and fake images also once you have your model you can save this to Hugging face, uh, you can also get that here under settings, access tokens. You can create easily, like just click uh, create new token and click right. That's it. You can create your token. Once you create it, you can you can easily copy that. Or let's suppose like I will right right yeah. I have copied it and I am pasting it here. You can create a repo like uh, I'm creating a repo called. Ashwant and just selecting create a repo 
it will create a repository now let's try with some images like linkedin at short of h1 just run this it's cool right it's almost looking close to reality so it is how you can create as many images as you can with the help of flex lora you just have to train your model and you can create unlimited images using the trained model